Now the party's over I'm so tired Then I see you coming Out of nowhere Much communication In a motion Without conversation or an ocean have a When the samba takes you out of nowhere and the background's fading out of focus Yes, the picture's changing every moment And the destination you don't know Well, howdy there, pluckers. I have a sore fingers again with you, with hopefully something uh, interesting for some of you. From a band called Roxy Music, for those of you old enough to remember them, and uh, Brian Ferry, of course, the lead singer, and um, a song called Avalon. Um, but this was released uh, when he was with uh, Roxy Music. Okay. Now I'm doing it standard tuning, no capos, um, and in the key of D. Okay. Uh, the original recording uh, from Roxy Music is in the key of F. So if you want to play along with uh, Roxy Music, you just need to put a capo on fret 3 and play uh, everything I'm about to show you but with a capo on fret 3 and you'll be in tune with Roxy Music's version, okay? Or recording, I should say. So, um, simple enough song. The actual verse is basically only three chords. It's a D to A to a G and then back to A again. I'm using a four finger G, you'll notice. You don't have to, a normal three finger G is fine, but uh, I, I like the sound of the four finger G where I'm doubling up on the top two strings on the third fret there. Okay, so um, obviously the, the intro is a bit sort of um, bespoke, shall we call it, lots of little bits of drum and some some sort of sound effects and stuff. So I've just made it very simple. I've taken the riff that they play in the intro, which is a that, and now I'm going straight into the song, okay? And that little riff is uh, basically an open A string, fifth string, second on the uh, fifth string, open D string, fourth string, back to the second on the fifth, and then back to the D, and into the chord. And that's the, then it's the singing kicks in at that point, so it's... Now the party's over. OK, got the idea. And what I'm doing with the actual sound of the song is I'm actually putting the back edge of my hand here. I'm going to do some palm muting. Just very lightly resting the back edge of my hand somewhere near the bridge. On and off, not all the time, just very lightly to mute the sound of the strings. Sometimes you don't have to. You could just play it straight if you wanted to. Now the party's over and I'm so tired. You can just play it straight, okay? But I, if you listen to the record, it's got that sort of sort of sound on it, okay? So I'm doing palm muting, okay? So we just go for the first verse, okay? With that, I also palm mute that intro to give it a more of a bassy sound. Now the party's over, I'm so tired. Now I see you coming out of nowhere. Much communication in a motion without conversation or an ocean. Now we're going into the chorus. And that's a C add 9, as a nice strum, to a B flat, to an A sus 4, to an A, 
back to the C add 9, Avalon, to the B flat, to the A sus 4, bit of a pause, and it goes to E, believe it or not. And then it's back to another verse. Okay, so C add 9 is basically this. I'm barring the, uh, sorry, not barring, I'm, I'm fretting the top two strings on the third fret with my third finger and pinky, just like I did on the fourth finger G, okay? And if you can imagine a G chord with those, uh, as a four finger G, you just need to move these two fingers down a string. So the first finger is now on the second fret of the fourth string, the D string, and the third, uh, second finger is on the um, third fret of the fifth string, and you play it five down to one. Okay. Third on the fifth, second on the fourth, and then these two on the top two strings on the third fret, and the third strings open. Five down to one. Then we do a B flat. Now the option is 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 um, a couple of options. Obviously a standard B flat, simple B flat, is that first fret top E string, and then these three fingers playing the third fret of the fourth, third, and second strings. 4 down to 1, but it does sound better if you can manage to do a bar chord like that, or like that. Bar the first fret with the first finger, and use three fingers to play the fourth, third and second strings on the third fret, or just use a single third finger to bar the fourth string, third string and second string at the third fret. Okay. And then we go to an A sus 4, which is just an A chord with your pinky up to the third fret on the second string. And then to an A. And you go back to the C add uh, 9. To the B flat. To the A sus 4. And then to an E chord. Bit of a pause. And what I like to do is to play that riff again next verse okay I only did two of the verses uh, out of the three okay and the middle bit there's like a sort of extended sort of um, orchestral dancing dancing bit and that's just uh, E to A A to E rather E but I didn't do that because it goes on for quite a long time and if you haven't got anybody else doing anything in it it doesn't sound like anything so I left that out okay I just played the verses and the choruses okay so here we go again so uh, we now we'll, do, we'll, we'll go through the first verse and the first chorus okay right here we go now the party is over I'm so tired then I see you coming out of nowhere much communication in a motion without conversation or a nose chorus. takes you out of nowhere and the background's fading out of focus yes the picture's changing every moment and your destination you don't know it chorus Rather than going to the E, you just play the A, suspended A, and to go Avalon to the D chord and finish, okay? So there you have it, boys and girls, my uh, easy peasy way of playing, uh, hopefully, Roxy Music's Avalon, okay? Uh, obviously, uh, a simplified version because there's a lot of orchestration going on 
in the background, double double track guitar bits and all that sort of stuff. But there you have it for a nice easy peasy uh, get around the campfire job. See you on the next lesson. Bye.